heart will not guide you uh, incorrectly to something. Um, if I mean, this is assuming that you are someone who loves God to begin with, genuinely. Okay. Genuinely. If you love God genuinely, then listen to your heart because God will not make the ugly appear beautiful to you. You know, in the Quran, um, I've been fascinated about with so many things about it. Actually, and I was writing something about this point just the other day. You know um, how uh, Allah says, you know, something like, it is not I who am wronging you. It is you who is wronging yourself. Yourself. Right? And by the same time, because he gave us free will. And, and so, you know, we bring it upon ourselves, whatever the, it is with the book. So this idea of reward and punishment, for example, it's like, I'm not doing it to you. You're doing it to yourself. But also there's a similar concept, which is when uh, God speaks of, uh, uh, you know, because the, God, uh, the prophet was very upset, wasn't he, that he couldn't convince everyone. Uh, of the beautiful truth that he had, he was bringing, yeah. Yeah. and uh, and and we know that there are um, occasions where where God would speak to him and tell him, "It's not your job. Your job is to deliver the message. Yes. Uh, you think you can convince uh, someone that God has not convinced, and and the way the the expression is something like." Um, uh, like the, the 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 people who do not believe or the people who do ill deeds, bad deeds, um, the the ugly has been dressed up to look beautiful to them. Mm. That's why they pursue the ugly. Mm. The ugly appears beautiful to them, and what that is trying to say to us is that if your heart is in the in the right place, meaning if you truly listen to your heart and you love God then there is no way you're going to see something ugly as beautiful. Yeah. You are only capable as a human being of seeing something that is ugly as beautiful if your niya to begin with is not a good one. You yeah. are not interested in God. You are wrapped up in your own ego, in your own nafs, in your own lower self, and you don't want to open up your mind to something higher. Only then can the ugly appear beautiful to you and then you can pursue it. So we have a litmus test in beauty in a number of different ways. Yeah, we do. And, you know, like in my in my case, Lena, because I didn't have love for God at that time. But what I had was since love for truth. Right. I had love for truth. And I think that's why I when when I was only 18, why I rejected God was because something inside me was basically reject rejecting the ugliness. And because it was represented to me as, you know, this is what God wants. So I rejected that, not knowing that what I was rejecting was the lie or the untruth. So I had this love for, for truth, and I was really sincerely seeking for the truth, which ultimately... Allah Ta'ala, alhamdulillah, guided me to. 